Welcome to section 2, Starting your Vue.js application. Over the course of this section, we're going to look at the application that we're going to build, Personal CRM, what stands for Customer Relations Management. I'll show you what this is in a few minutes. The next thing is, we're going to learn how to start a completely new app in Vue using the Vue CLI, and you will be up and running in seconds. Also, we're going to be introduced to Vue single file components, what's well, probably the most convenient way of writing view files, and you will not want to live without them going forward. And also, of course, we're going to learn how to use external NPM packages in the whole system. Because over the course of this, we'll learn to build a complete app, what should give us access to the whole NPM and JavaScript ecosystem around. So we try to go beyond what we can do in the browser of the first section. In this video, I'll introduce you to the personal CM that we're going to build. We're going to have an outlook of what this application should be able for us to do, what we're going to build in general, and also I'll show you where to find necessary setup files. So in the browser, you have an outlook of the application that we're going to build over the rest of this course. It's a CRM where we say we can manage our contacts. On a personal level, I'm very much interested in the people that I have met at one point, and I want to keep in touch with a certain degree. I'll try to keep this in a professional level. So those are really my professional contacts that I try to serve. For example, my first contact I met at the last ViewConf. That's cool. We can add email addresses, Twitter handles, like so, where we say, okay, this is Jane Doe. We know her personal email address, for example. We have it pre-filled out already. We could add custom tags, like I'd say, okay, she did a lot of it view. She works with Modelist. That's cool. I would say we have a very good relationship and some other notes that I want to leave, and I can save these changes and everything will be saved for me. I can also add new contacts easily. Say, let's add someone new. Let's add John Doe, and we can add new notes in here. Let's create the contact, have it saved. It pops up in our sidebar, and we can switch between like all our contacts that we have and see all the details there accordingly. We could even search for them by filter through the completely list. So this application goes beyond the traditional to-do list or anything like this. So I'll try to focus on a lot of complex challenges you have when working with Vue applications. Of course, this is not a feature complete application at all, but eventually in the end or so, this will give you a lot of room to improve and maybe build your own CRM on top of this. The ideal goal, is that it is a very good foundation for what you're going to build with Vue in the future. In the repository that is linked to this video, you will find a folder called Setup. In the Setup folder, there will be files like Firebase, a page SAS file, or a Tailwind configuration file. It's important that you know where to find them, because over the course I will reference those Setup files at one point, that you know, okay, this is how we pull it in. This is some work we have pre-done, so we don't work on things that are not related to Vue at this point. The important piece is, try to use the latest files provided in a setup direction. So over the course of this video, some of those files may have changed or updated. So this is just a fundamental place to where to find them. And I always will explicitly reference when we use one of the setup files. Just be sure to check out the latest version of the repository that is linked to this video course. 